going on guys? Beastly Gamer, welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. I, r rarely, lately, have I seen things I really want to talk about, but Sony. Sony and the PlayStation, they win my heart when it comes to gaming, but, you know, they didn't show up this year at E3. That was a little uh, distressing, because PSX is what everybody's waiting on, but now, there's new news that they're going to skip another big show, and this is... I hope PSX is amazing. This article is on Polygon.com. It says, no PlayStation press conference at Tokyo Game Show 2019 either. So they're not going to go to TGS either. This is something else. And maybe some of you guys have heard about this. This is the first time I'm hearing about it. And it's slightly stressing. <laughs> I want to see their new stuff, man. I mean, there's a lot of things. I got a lot of questions about Dreams. I want to know more about The Last of Us 2. I want to know what's going on with my favorite video game company. And uh, right now, we just got to wait till PSX. So it says, Sony Interactive Entertainment will not hold a PlayStation News Conference at Tokyo Game Show, continuing a trend of decreased engagement with major trade shows for the console maker. Oh, it's, it is very, very sad. That information comes via translation from PlayStation's Japanese language website. Outlining, outlining plans for Tokyo Game Show 2019, instead of a news conference, Sony will hold a live show from its booth in ex Exhibition Hall 5. Earlier this year, Sony Interactive Entertainment skipped E3 altogether. No news conference or live stream, and not even a booth on the show floor for the first time in the Expo's 24-year history. The company also bagged its annual PlayStation experience, which would have been held last December. The show had run consecutively for the preceding four years. Sony was at Gamescom 2019 in Cologne, Germany earlier this year, making it the company's first appearance of the year. News conferences, however, are not typically a part of that particular exhibition. Sony, PlayStation X better be banging this year. I mean, people really want to see something. Xbox came out big at E3. They, once again, talked about what this new Scarlet's going to do. They showed things like Flight Simulator. I, I keep saying Flight Simulator because it blew my mind. It, it looks so photorealistic. Of course, they showed Gears, uh, which to me, even the latest stuff they show for Gears does not look very uh, entertaining to me. It looks like the same old, same old. But, you know, graphically, things are getting a lot better. Uh, there are new studios that they own. I mean, Microsoft is really trying to move in for the kill on Sony. The Xbox One didn't do nearly as well as they would have liked it to have done. Uh, which is obvious. They don't even talk about numbers. They only talk about hours on Xbox Live service. And PlayStation's kind of sitting back and enjoying their winnings for now. But uh, as of late, the last year, you know, Xbox One X has held the crown as the most powerful console. It, it's kind of, you know, stressful a little bit. I'm watching Digital Foundry, and they always say, well, the Xbox One X version is the, the best version that you're going to play on console. And I'm like, I'm looking at my PS4 Pro. I'm like, damn it! So I want to know what PlayStation's got in store for us. I want to know what their plans are for the next virtual reality set. You know, I love my PlayStation VR. Uh, I can't get my wife to get into it, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. But I love my, my, my VR. I love my PlayStation, and I want to see what Sony's plans are for the future. You guys let me know what you think. Uh, why is Sony backing out of all these trade shows? Is this something they're going to continue to do? Do you guys think that they're no longer going to compete with Xbox on these big show floors and just wait to do their PlayStation experience at the end of the year? I think that the competition is good. I like having two or three really big shows uh, at E3. I think E3 is probably the most important, but TGS at the same time is a very important uh, trade show that's been going on for years and years. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the Beastly Gamer channel if you haven't done so yet. Hit that notification bell to stay up to date with my latest uploads. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. All right, everybody. Now you can finish watching this awesome gameplay. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, some of you guys might not be the biggest fans of Call of Duty Black Ops 4. I actually pre-ordered Modern Warfare. Super excited about that. This game has become kind of a gimmick and a, a good way to troll people. I started trolling people late in my late in my life, and I'm really enjoying the hell out of it. So enjoy the rest of this match. Let me know what you think. Let me know when it's the last time you played Call of Duty and which is your favorite of all time. I'm the Beastly Gamer. Enjoy the footage. I'll see you next time. Hook Mavis!
up. Make that push.